Ja. This is America's first and only daily talk show for and about the Filipinos. This is your Kababayan today, where every uh, regularly we give you immigration update. This American Dream segment is brought to you by Aquino and Lowe Law Firm, answering your immigration questions. American Dream segment here on the program as we talk about immigration, helping you not just to survive but also to thrive here in the U.S. Attorney Richard Lowe, welcome to Cabo Bayan today. Good to be here. All right, we're going to be talking about provisional waivers. As I hear that, um, it's it's a hot topic right now on uh, in terms of immigration. Yes, well, we just recently got numbers from the uh, USCIS regarding the approval rates of these uh, uh, waivers, which just uh, the program just started in March. So mm. it's a little bit exciting to Is see what's going on. Is it a 59 percent approval rate or something? Uh, like that? Right now it's at 59 percent which is uh, which is good and bad right. um, it, it's good if you're from uh, the Philippines because the approval rate at the consulates was pretty low mm. uh, so 59 percent now for the Fili for Filipinos is very good if you're from Mexico it's a lower approval rate than it was at the consulate in Ciudad Juarez which okay. was about 80 percent all right let us explain this further for those who are because you know immigration is very complicated especially this topic what is a waiver well first of all a waiver is something that you would need to come into the United States because you have a, an issue with inadmissibility. In this case, we're talking inadmissibility based on being unlawfully present in the United States. Mm. Uh, normally, okay. these waivers you would have to get at the consulate once you leave the United States because that's what triggers the bar. Um, but this process, what we're going to talk about, provisional waivers, allows you to get that waiver here in the United States. All right. Provisional waiver allows you to get your waiver here in the U.S. Okay. In eligibility for adjustment could stem from the following. What are the reasons? Well, well basically, if you're in the United States, States, if you entered without inspection, if you uh, entered with a visa but overstayed, if you entered as a crewman, or if you entered as a fiance and you didn't get married, uh, those would make you ineligible. Now, for this particular waiver, uh, because we're talking, it's only available for immediate relatives. It, for Filipinos, it, probably the people who are most going to be affected are crew members and uh, people who are um, uh, fiancés because most Filipinos enter the United States with a passport and right. if they were married to an immediate relative or had a petition through an immediate relative they would be able to adjust. With that said, so who may use the provisional waiver? So the provisional waivers would be used by immediate relatives. That is, people are being petitioned by their U.S. citizen spouse, their U.S. citizen child, or their U.S. citizen parent. Mm -hmm. uh, so although there are many people who would be eligible for a regular uh, 601 waiver, a a waiver at the consulate uh -huh. for the provisional waiver it's limited to immediate relatives okay and we're saying we keep saying this because this is kind of good news as you mentioned 59 percent approval numbers for provisional waivers what is the process how tedious is it or is it well it's not that tedious at all basically you start the process here in the u.s. by filing the visa petition uh, once that process uh, gets approved once the visa gets approved then we have to go through to the provisional waiver process so it starts normally like you would would normally do and then and then except for going back to the council that we now start with a provisional waiver process where we get a uh, let's say an approval of the provisional waiver then you go with that in hand back to the consulate so you're still council processing but you're doing it with your waiver in hand right. so you're more likely to be granted to come back into the United States what are provisional waivers used for for people who want to go let's say somebody died in the Philippines or no the, the way this provisional waiver is only for time spent in the United States unlawfully so if okay. you are going to be barred from returning to the United States because you were here uh, illegally un unlawfully for some reason, yeah. right? Then you and you're you're going to need this waiver, okay? okay? Now it's not if you are barred for any other reason, like for example, if you enter the United States using false documents or if you have criminal history, you cannot use this waiver. So it, it's very particular to what you can use for the provisional waiver. It doesn't mean that you can't get the waiver at the consulate like right. you would normally do. Uh -huh. You just can't do it here in the United States before uh -huh. you leave. Okay, all right. And um, you mentioned the process. How long does it take to wait for a waiver to come out, whether it's granted or not? Well, right now we're running about six months or so for, okay. from the start of the waiver process, not from the visa process. If you add the visa process, you can add another four months to that. Oh, okay. So it's still not too long. 
long. It's not it's too long. It's just something worth filing, right? It, it's absolutely worth filing, particularly, I think, with the approval rates the way they are for the Philippines. I think this is great news. All right. Well, thank you so much for sharing your expertise with us and explaining that very complex subject. If you want more information, if you want to schedule your one-on-one uh, -on -one consultation with them, that's the number on the screen. And let's remind everyone, Attorney Richard Lowe, that you also have a, an office in Honolulu already. Yes, we're very excited about our office in Honolulu. Yes, office in Honolulu with Attorney uh, Michelle Alarcon as well. But still, that's the number to call on the screen if you want to schedule an appointment, whether here in Los Angeles or in Honolulu. Thank you so much, and more power to you. Thank you. We'll be back more entertainment, perhaps, when we return on Cabo Bayan today. Don't go away.